Kayla, you and I have a bit of a history, and I think we should come clean. Yes. Ooh. Uh, recently on a trip to New York, I take trips to New York to uh, do some podcasts, other business, and I was walking down the street with my good friend of many years, one of my oldest friends, Eric Reif, and I think we were near MoMA. Is that right, Kayla? Very near MoMA. You were almost inside the museum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. tried to go inside, but was immediately escorted out. Mm -hmm. Most good museums, uh, they know the scoop, <laughs> and they escort me out immediately. But Kayla and I, you and I had an interaction, and we chatted for yeah. a little bit, and it was interesting because I think maybe uh, the essence of me came out in this interaction. Is that <laughs> fair to say? All the contours of your personality were there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to take that as a compliment, mm. even though it really doesn't sound... No, and I remember we chatted for a little bit, and I, I, one of the things I had to do was an upfront where there's an audience, and I actually recounted my interaction with Kayla in front of this audience, and it got a big laugh. And you've talked about this on the radio yes, show as well. exactly. You want to do a brief recap? Yeah. Well, br briefly run into <coughs> Kayla. She... Uh, professes anyway to be a fan of the podcast. We chat briefly, and then I thought usually people would like to commemorate it with a um, selfie. And I said, "Would you like a selfie?" And she said, "No, I'm good." Mm. Uh, and um, my friend thought that was really funny. Uh, me less so. No, I, I and and then I said, uh, I don't know. I think I, I I didn't let it go immediately. The idea of the selfie, and then you didn't. I think not. Well, <laughs> Kayla, you were there. I think Kayla, you were there, That's and why you, we're here today? Yeah, yeah. Kayla's here it. as the as the witness. And you mentioned that um, that this need to please neediness uh, that's in the title of the podcast came out in that moment. Is that what happened? Yeah, I, I wanted to let you go first so that I could give the honest account of what happened because it was a little different than that. But, okay. Ooh. Um, oh, <laughs> all right. Um, very similar. No, I'm an enormous fan. I love you guys. I listen every week. I've been a fan for years. And I was leaving work at this unusually late hour. I'm normally not there at, around dinner time. And I was on the phone with one of my best friends, Olivia, and I was walking out of the staff kind of exit. And I'm in the revolving doors and I see this person peering in um, <laughs> and I, 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 I thought that I was having like a fever dream at first because I, I thought I was like I thought that I like oh, Baba, willed Duke. you into existence uh -huh. and I got out and I'm in my head I'm like you've got to be kidding me so I said to my friend just hold on a second and then I turned to you and I just I wanted to say how much I love your work and the show mm -hmm. and um and you were so generous and, and kind and standing, you know, there to talk to me and everything. And then you said, so do you want to take a selfie to to show your friends? And I felt at that point like I was already such an imposition, having stopped you guys. You were looking for the modern, which is the restaurant yes. at the museum. That's, can I stop you for one and, second and say when I was peering in, Yeah, we were. there's a restaurant uh, in the museum or adjacent to the museum or associated with the museum called the modern, right? Yes. And so my friend, Eric, said, I think this is the restaurant. And I was peering in through the glass. Now, of course, you just see a tall creep <laughs> peering in at you as you're trying to exit the building. I was looking to see, is this where the restaurant is? So I'm clearing that up, first of all. Got, uh, gotcha. It's interesting you left that out, though, when you were first yeah. telling the story. Well, I, I, I often peer. <laughs> what? I'm, that doesn't make it better. I'm someone who peers to see what's going on inside. <laughs> and uh, and and I like to peer and I like to furtively look around. Oh, uh, and, you know, but um, anyway, that's what happened. So we had a nice chat. I thought maybe and then you thought that was too much of a imposition on me. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I never. I didn't want to impose. I sort of. I like blacked out as soon as I saw you because I'm. You're literally my hero, and I didn't. Oh. I. I didn't remember anything that I said in that moment. So I said. I guess what I said was, um, "I'm good," mm -hmm. and then that's not really my style. And then your face just totally fell, and I, <laughs> I felt. I really wanted a picture with I, you. <laughs> you. It made me. I felt really sad, and then I said, "Why do you want a selfie?" Ah! And then. You, <laughs> 
it's so. And then you said, "Yeah, I really do." <laughs> yeah, oh, I do. It's true. Oh, and so then you still didn't take a selfie with him. Well, actually, I think you blacked out too because. Oh, we did get a selfie! Oh! Yay! Oh. Okay, so here's the crazy part. So you're I, so happy in that picture. <laughs> I am happy because I finally got the selfie. Your own reimagining of this made you think of it the worst possible scenario. That's what often happens. Yeah, yeah. I, um, my inner voice is quite negative, but uh, we did eventually get the selfie. But then, Kayla, you're leaving out the real O. Henry twist, which is several weeks later, I'm back in New York to do these other podcasts and I hear, oh, hi, Conan, and it's Kayla. Oh. And we're in a different neighborhood. We're not even in really quite the same area. Kayla, that's suspicious. Yeah. That's a little. And this time you were peering at me, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be frank. How do you answer these so, charges, Kayla? Um, <laughs> you were on my block. Like, um, oh, I know. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> I don't like being you a party were, to anyone. You were, I won't name the venue because I want to preserve both of our, um, you know, locations, which we probably, you go there, I go there. It's r literally right next door to where I live. Mm -hmm. And I was walking by to go home and walk my dog and you walked out and I was like, again, are you, are you kidding me? Like, and I started laughing and then you looked up and I think you were kind of like, all right, who is this person? And you kind of said, hello. And I said, sorry, actually, we met last week. Yep. And then you said, of course. And then we sort of um, started chatting again. And then I asked and... you again for a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> you want another one? <laughs> no. So we anyway, yeah, yes, well, we started was, chatting. Yep. What I was going to say was what was funny about the first interaction is I was on the phone with my friend and she was on the phone the whole time. So when I got off, when I left you guys to go into the restaurant, she was able to tell me line by line what <laughs> happened. I'm thinking she had called the and, police. <laughs> no, it, and, and it required zero explanation because you have the most recognizable voice. And oh, so yeah. she said that was the most extraordinary interaction I've ever accidentally overheard. That was funny. <laughs> but you know, because then we were chatting and that's the second time we ran into each other. And I said, okay, now we have to have Kayla on the podcast. This will clear up. And she refused. And she refused. <laughs> no, I'm good. But I know where she lives. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, this is just all, it was all a happening. It was all yeah. just a happening. And yeah. I was I was very happy. I mean, clearly I, I love our fans. I have great respect for our fans. And yeah. When uh, you meet these very smart, cool people who like the podcast, I'm, I'm a happy, happy guy. Hmm. So, uh, you know. That's it. How much did it, it clearly bothered you though that she said, no, I uh, think I'm good when you offered her a selfie. I didn't let it go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Clearly. I mean, yeah. I you promised I, her a spot on this podcast. Yeah, That's what we I haven't know. heard is there was a negotiation. <laughs> yeah, she's also getting $400,000, <laughs> which I have to wire into a Swiss account. You heard it here, listeners. You can extort Conan for money. <laughs> By just refusing just a podcast. A yeah. <laughs> no, refusing one, withhold the selfie. Yeah. And then demand cash. Yeah.